Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to complete CBAP application. I am Ellen Mishra. I work as the principal consultant and trainer with Adaptive Processes. Adaptive is one of the leading EEPs for IIBA. We have been an EEP for close to six years now and we have helped close to 100 uh, professionals to achieve CCBA and CBAP certifications. Recently, IIBA changed its application uh, process. Uh, the old system has been revamped and there is a new system which, is, which has been brought in. Uh, and this new system is a little different from the old system and many people seem to be struggling with that. In the old system, you filled in your data and it was reviewed by IIBA. It was accepted or rejected by IIBA. But now it's very different. It is it will not allow you to proceed unless you have strictly followed the IIBA BABOC handbook, uh, which is where people start struggling because there are 85 tasks which are defined in the application and of which there are many tasks which are not considered as BA task in the application. It is perfectly possible that you do those tasks as a business analyst in your organization and it may appear to be a right business analysis task but the application system does not accept it. So let's see how we can get our application through in the very first attempt. For that what we need to do is to get a very simple excel file um, and this is the excel file which we have created. It's a simple tool. Um, and this tool will help us to get our data right. This tool is available on our website. If you go to our website, go to BA goodies section. And from there you go to free resources. And if you go to free resources, you will see this application here. And of course, as you see, we have an 100% uh, pass guarantee certification scheme also available to you uh, for a certain period of time. So I have downloaded this Excel and I have kept it here. Uh, this Excel has a readme file, which is essentially telling you the rules that you must follow while filling up your data. Uh, the template itself will indicate to you if you have violated any of the rules. Uh, rule number seven is extremely hard to implement, so we just left it. But please make sure that uh, do not to have overlapping dates because it creates a confusion uh, in the calculation of hours. Now coming to approved B activities, these are the only activities of the 85 which BABOC accepts it um, or IIB accepts as an approved activity. In fact, if you just see all, you will see there are many tasks which are marked as red and these red mark tasks will not be accepted when you submit the application. For each project, you have to provide information on 85 tasks and one wrong task will make your application not being acceptable to IIBA. Okay. So please take a very serious look into this particular Excel and make sure that you only tick those activities which have been marked as yes in this template. Then you have to provide your project information. So you put your project names here and you put your start date and end date. The system or the Excel itself gives you a recommended number of hours which you can claim and we would expect you to claim all those hours. So these are the fields that you fill in uh, for your hours. So these are two calculated fields so please don't uh, um, kind of uh, modify them. It, it's simple addition, but just don't worry. It, it's a simple formula. And um, then you will also start getting the hours on top of it, uh, saying total hours per knowledge area. And there is a recommendation set at the end. So it tells you whether your total effort looks good and do you have the second rule, which is the four Ks must have experience above 900 hours. Um, the other sections of the applications are not extremely difficult. So you need two references, you need a training done and you also need uh, 
uh, right education which i believe most of us would have i do not see a problem there majority of the problem do happen in the work experience section now let's go and uh, visit iiba website and see if we can replicate the same information into iiba website and get our application accepted so let's log into iiba website so iiba.org now i have logged in and that's why um, as i log off and i will log in again So now, if you have not created a profile, uh, if you say log on, see here is a register button. So in case you have not um, created a profile for yourself, go ahead and do it. It's free. There is no charge to it. Uh, it will of, of course ask you some details about yourself, name, uh, primary email and few other things which you can provide. So now I will go back to login and I will log in with the profile that I have created. Okay. So now if I go to certification in the profile, see I already have started the application. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this application. Okay, so that it doesn't appear for me. So now I'm kind of clean. So I'm going to apply for CBAP. So I'll just say apply for CBAP. It will essentially give me a uh, portal or an information where I can enter my education, professional development, work experience, reference one and reference two. Since work history is the area that most people struggle so i'm going to show you work history page and others are i think fairly simple you can do it yourself so now i already have added an uh, application so i'm going to delete that so that it doesn't interfere with my data so now i have a clean slate so i'm going to put some basic details about my company uh, this industry appears as a project name so Keep it in a way that you can actually uh, recognize in the main home page. So I'll just say Balandur and other details get filled up. Okay. So I'll just skip it and here is the project name. So you put it as project. So here is what you have to be careful. So I'm going to put some date around 2007, um, say 31. Um, or 0106 so that's basically 2007 uh, 0106 and then I'll take it up to say one year 2031 05 so and I'll say put my role as BA all this information is required uh, you can put it so I'm going to put my manager's name and her email ID then contact phone number and supervisor so now as we go down okay organization hours worked that i have to fill up so let's say supervisor and i have to provide information as per that excel so i'm going to put 500 and i'm going to add the data as per that excel since i have been doing it quite often so i know it quite well so i will just uh, tick it as it is mm, then see there are some interesting activities even if they have a word called ba team performance review it is still not a business analysis activity this will be considered more as a managerial activity so that's why it should be no and uh, then operational support is also no for elicitation i will take it as a 400 hours uh, in elicitation all activities you can take here you take another 400 hours and suppose let me just keep all 400 so it's easy for me uh, you can of course change it as per your actual data so this one's uh, 
I'll keep it like this. Requirement stressability. This is okay. This is okay. This is also okay. This is also okay. The last three activities are not accepted. Uh, most of the project management activities you need to leave out. So I'm just leaving that out. Uh, any technical activity you need to leave out. So these are all. Now this is a sponsors activity. So I'll leave it out. Define business need. Define solution scope. Project scope is project manager's prerogative. So we'll leave it out. Develop is business case. Feasibility studies. And then in this also I will take it as say 400. Mm. So now uh, determined uh, these are all applicable. Okay, this is applicable, 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 this is also applicable. Uh, delivered use cases. The last six are not applicable here. Then I will take 200 hours here. Say allocated requirements. Assist. Testing is not, not at all applicable. Training is also not applicable. Technology options is also not applicable. Uh, validated a solution. Then uh, transition requirements. Determined org readiness. This is also fine. And uh, okay. So all that, and then you say save. Okay. Sorry. I think. Uh, there is some data which is not right somewhere. Let me just check it. Maybe I entered some data here, which uh, seems to be right. Uh, the organization hours worked. Oh, there is a organization name. But where is it? One second, organization name, this is there. One second, the application is bit uh, not tested that well and I think that is where uh, it does kind of uh, create trouble. So let me just kind of fill in uh, organization name. And this is fine. Maybe I'll just put it. Description, I'll put something, IBM Pro project okay I think now it looks to be perfectly fine let me try this again ah, still some date time okay it's, it's giving an error for a date <coughs> so let me just check that date uh, this is ah I think uh, this is I think the problem with the date format so I'll just take it as 0531. So just be careful or rather use the calendar because I entered it by hand uh, and it is giving an uh, error which is a bit difficult to understand. That's okay. Okay, so now let's save it. See now because um, uh, it there is no activity which is not approved by IIBA. That is why it appeared here. And once it appears here, you can simply say add work history to application. See now the whole thing has been added. So similarly, we can add another uh, three more projects like this. And then the total uh, effort will go up. Okay. So make sure that you use all your hours. And now if you see back to the application, it is still not approved because I have not added more number of projects. So let me go and add some more projects. So I'll just do it quickly and uh, takes a little while. If you are intelligent enough, you can actually write a small script to fill in these details. So I'll just do that. Uh, I'll quickly fill up four projects data for you. Uh, so this is all fine. Uh, so I'll just put it as JRC perfect one. So since I use 7, 8, I will use 8, 9. So 2008. Uh, then the month comes here, I think, 2008, uh, 05, I hope this is the format that it accepts. Then I will take it as 2009, 05, 31. Hmm. 
so let's take exactly one year and then try to save it let me check if it saves at least uh, okay now fine at least the date did not create a trouble for us so all that we can provide it later so here again I'm going to take 2000 hours and I'm going to put the activities that I know for sure are BA activities okay so these are all BA activities then uh, I'll take it as 500 here then I can click all this this is a little tedious thing but we have no choice 400 this is a little easy so this is 300 then it will uh, so say no to project management say no to technical activities say no to sponsor activities all that you have to make sure studies for a feasibility thing requirements analysis maybe 500 so these are all fine this is fine this is where you will spend a little more time but uh, have patience okay so these six are not there so maybe 400 then test cases are no this is no this is no this is also no this is okay this is okay implementation plan is implementation SME testing is uh, QA responsibility so all that we have to remove uh, evaluate it I don't know this is I think I have to check I don't think it applies this is fine and uh, this is okay and then you say save hopefully this time there will be no error now you see like uh, I have added 4100 hours that seems to be very high I think uh, let me just check why it became so high Oh, here I made a mistake I made it as instead of 500 I put it as 2000 that's why I think it became very high 500 500 400 300 500 400 I think this looks okay okay so now this has come down then I say add uh, to the project so this is the option that you always have to do uh, and then if you see now my total experience has gone up and if I add another project with uh, the same information so I'll add uh, uh, for a project for a different duration um, so again just hold it for me adaptive industry IT3 Belandor all these details will come automatically then I'll put this GRC perfect 3 please ensure that you put all these things don't skip it uh, because I am skipping it so I'll just take it as 2011 then I'll put it as 2012 okay your role BA all that kind of things and here again I will go with say 500 the stakeholder analysis this is fine 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 no this is not fine so I'll uh, not take that so just follow keep following the Excel uh, that has been given you may take a printout that will actually help okay so obtain signed up managed I think here everything is yes up to this and then the last three are not there so here it is like this uh, then this is fine 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 and this is fine and here i think did i put the hours no i'm not i'm forgetting to put the hours so let me put the hours 500 400 then maybe 400 and maybe 400 so this is fine this is okay 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 up to this it's okay rest all are no and maybe i'll take 200 and uh, put this 
okay this is fine this is also fine then uh, this is fine this is also fine then this is fine this is fine this is also fine this is also fine I'm just going by the Excel because I have looked at the Excel so many times uh, it automatically comes for me um, so now it's a little less so let me just add it up um, and then you have to always upload so now I am like uh, 26 to 4 5000 so 6800 I have got so I have to add one more project uh, so that I cross that 7500 so I'll just do that again adaptive industry IT 4 just to make sure that I am able to find it out Belandur okay so once I do that uh, country I have to put India India then is all fine this is Bangalore okay then uh, I'll put this as GRC perfect 4 and I'll take a date which is a little bit more recent, 2-0, um, maybe uh, I'll take it as 11. And this one I'll take it as 2-0-1-0-11-0-1. All that is required, I'll put that. This is okay. And again I will take here 500. Say so this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. These are all fine. These are all fine. Okay. This is not fine. Mm, this is fine. Then elicitation, I'll put it as 500. And these are all I can take it. This one, I'll put it as 400. And uh, these are all fine. I think here up to this. The last three are not okay. And here, I'll take it as 400. So here, these are a little bit complicated. It is not uh, uniform. So this is not applicable. This is applicable. Then defined uh, solution scope. Project scope is project manager, developed a business case, feasibility study. And then here I'll take it as 400. Mm. This is fine, this is fine, this is also fine. Okay, this is fine. This is also fine. The last six are not okay. So here I'll take it as 200. So I'll take this, this, then I will take this, then I will take this, then I'll take this. This is okay. These are all fine. Okay, this is also fine. So I'll save this. So took me a little time so now let me just go and update so you always have to click that uh, file structure to make it applicable now if you see I have added these hours and uh, if I go back to application uh, I believe I would have crossed uh, see the work history is approved so, so, so fundamentally the rule is follow the Excel um, and uh, don't uh, put any non b activity into your activity list if you do that uh, you will be perfectly fine after this also if you have uh, some problem uh, what i would suggest uh, you can write to us our email id is info at adaptiveprocesses.com and someone from our team will definitely uh, look come forward to help you with the application process thank you and uh, do stay in touch